Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. He says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. On. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. How are you getting to the movie? Don't you dare touch that dial. 
You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you said outside. Maybe I'll go get it, and you can finish up here instead. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. So what, now you're too old for gifts? Hansel stings from catching Mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. You're just scared that I'll beat you. I still have lots of time to stage a comeback. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Oh crap, I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She believes it. Could she be right?
I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The flark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your gymnastics. Wait, what about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to use. It ain't Are you neutrino slicing, it's yes, a trapper. Even out. your mouth breathers can figure it out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. Alright. Get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> Not yours. Come over to your cave and say that again. This place is cool and all, but could it fit the entire Guardians of the Galaxy fleet? We have a fleet. Then why must we suffer aboard such a small ship? He means... <sighs> Never mind. Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh! Explain the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this.
Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Then. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. It's big size. Big size? Yeah, I wouldn't pet him like that again unless you want to lose a finger. He bites hard. I admire a creature with some spirit. What would you call it? It is a hell beast. It doesn't look like much. If I didn't know any better, I'd think it was a woodland creature. True, but do we mention it's one of a kind? Just look deep into those angry raccoon eyes. I ain't a freaking raccoon! And you'll see that there's a monster in there. Big, scary, trigger happy monster. And what would you like for the... Hell Beast? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less. Twenty thousand? Uh, wow, okay. See, I was thinking more like... Twelve? No. Nine, then. Uh, the creature is worthless to me. <sighs> I would rather buy the Flora Colossus. Told you. What? You want to buy Groot? Is he for sale? No, he ain't. Just think of the money, Rocket. I am Quill. And Groot's not for sale. Ah! 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 What are you doing? Land me, Quill. Guys, less talking, more escaping. Now! Ah! Ah! What the fuck, Rocket? You heard that, Jackal! 
can bicker later. We need to keep moving. Where are my drones? I want the Guardian incinerated. What is that? She's cheating. I'm loading that pod. It ain't dying, Quill. Try something else. That won't hold it for long. It ain't slowing down. Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. Try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for you, and I ain't here for that. <laughs> yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way. You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You wanna cut and run, or do you wanna get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. We don't even know where the vault is from here. All we gotta do is get back to that big tube with the elevator. What about the army of monsters? <laughs> we'll see where the real monster is. Monsters are real monsters. Well, they ain't the only ones. Now, come on!
Traitor, if you would leave the bludgeoning to me! Not my fault you're slower than my sword. You're both slow. Fifty units as me and Groot can mow them all down without you. I am Groot. Guys, guys! These creeps ain't gonna win against us. We're wanted men. The assassin rodent and tree may well be criminals, but I have served my time. I, I meant we're renegades. We roll the dice because we're not afraid. So what do you say we put those losers out there in the ground? Who's with me? That's me. Wait, read so the much team leader. Let's just worry about getting out of here. Lady Hellman to displace her effectiveness in a Katapian manner. Oh yeah, Drax. She's so into you. I'm pulling my weight. There's not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. There's the fault. Told you I knew what I was doing. 5,000 units to the Hellraiser who kills the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. Hellraiser! More like Hellraiser! Die! We'd be completely exposed trying to escape this way. 
Lady Hellbender's amassed treasure is legendary. It's pleasure! On those elevators! My temper is elevated! You can't run forever! Oh, now. Time's up! I'm telling you, we can still come out on top of this thing. We'll be lucky if we don't end up on top of a spike. It is more likely that Lady Hellbender would feed us to one of her monsters. Thanks, Drax. Something to look forward to. Fork! Way too close. Follow them. got a real funny way of saying thanks. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. It's more like murderous rage. Keep talking, you ingrates. I'm happy to cut you out of your take from the vault. I'm happy to cut you, period. Sharp words from a dull woman. Like you'd have done any different in my shoes. I wouldn't have been in your shoes. I'd want to sell Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. Groot says you can all go sit on a hot poker. Oh, fine, fine. You're all against me. But by the end, you'll be lining up to kiss my hairy paws. This was not how I envisioned my first encounter with Lady Hellbender. Eh, she ain't scut. I bet on you any day, muscles. Do not attempt to flatter me, Rose. Everybody, quiet! Come on! What got them off at the vault? Perfect. It does not seem perfect. It means we're headed the right way. Straight into an ambush? If we know what's coming, it ain't an ambush, is it? Oh, oh, why did it have to be water? Think of it as liquid karma. Just another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging for my neck with the Our gift is not for sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 units. 12? How'd you get 12? As a measure of my growing frustration. Well, take a deep breath, cuz we're here. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Leave that to me. Heads up! Ambush! Yeah! We're ambushing them! Well, nothing says I'm sorry like a whole lot of you. Fifty more units, Rodent! Yeah, yeah! It 
is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill. Appreciate the help, big guy. Do you think, Gamora? Cut to pieces! Crush him, Drax! <laughs> This is exactly why we should have gone with Groot! I must regretfully agree! These Hellboys are really putting up a fight! I do not see how you can discern their gender. It's a... Getting out of here is gonna be a nightmare! Once we got the units, Hellbender's goons will turn on her! Reminds me of the Sakaran battle arena. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Well, nothing says I'm sorry like a whole lot of you. It's been too long since I blew something up. Drax, toss it. My best toy! Love it, Adam, big guy! Okay, coast is clear. You're up, Rocket. Make it fast. Of course! There ain't a lock this side of Xandar I can't find. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manis on. You can't rush genius. All Hellraisers to the main vault! Or I could try rushing and hope for the best. Let's go to the No end to this battle. Every blow I make is counted. Every night strike turned aside. I am Groot. I fear we will not win. Okay, okay, listen. The ending is near. We just need no fear. No fear and they'll fall to the ground. So when we go back out there, let's show these goons what no one else can. Who's with me? 
more persistent. Just a little bit longer. And pop. And close enough. Move your asses while you still got them. Did you suck it in there, group? Fire! See? Nothing. You! The more are no killing teammates. That's who? It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitment. Yep. He's a liability, Peter. Ha! Coming from the most wanted woman in the galaxy. Most deadly. Same thing. How about a thank you, Rocket? For nearly getting us killed? <sighs> for getting us into... The crappiest fault in the greater Magellanic Cloud? You said there'd be treasure! A Galeran skull is priceless. Worthless is not the same. Guys! We need a plan! Agreed! My arms are growing moderately fatigued. Dig deep, Drax. Gamora, cover them. Rock and I will try to find something of value. Groot! Don't break anything! There's gotta be more than just junk in the skeg. Priceless. They're just lights, and they look heavy as scut. Well, this is not nothing, but here we go. Not quite enough, but we're getting there. That's what I'm talking about. Not such a bad plan, after all. Not exactly good, either. Yeah, we're still looking. Most of this stuff is either worthless, too heavy, or both. Nice. An assassin's ring. 
Gamora would get a kick out of this. Who keeps so much garbage under lock and key? I used to have a rock collection in a toy treasure chest. Oh, so an idiot does. Got it. All right, this will cover our fine at least. Why stop there? After all she put us through, I say we clean her out. What she put us through? Enough! Peter Quill. It's grown quiet. Quiet like peace and quiet, or like the grave sort of quiet? Definitely the grave one. Drax, please tell me you didn't just lock us in. I did not do anything. I'm almost impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. <laughs> Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing Peter. you ever see. Shame to waste my Clintarian gas on such unworthy invaders. Do try not to melt. All over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now! It is both priceless and hard to clean. Deep breath, people! Anyone else feel burning? Like, all over? Clintarian gas breaks down organic material, leaving just a pile of sludge-covered bones. So let's bust our way out of here while we still have the organs to do it! We've gotta jam those vents, or the gas will keep pouring in. Freeze the lethal gas vents, Peter Quill! Use them peepers, Quill. I don't want to end up a stain on this broad floor. Use your Flarkin visor!
use one of those lights? Heads up! Ha! Now that was priceless. What are you waiting for, Quill? Get muscles to huck that thing. Unless you plan on doing it yourself. Drax, hurl it right through that wall. With all my might! That'll do her! Let's move, people! I hope you know what you're doing! That makes two of us! Here goes nothing! Is everyone okay? Gamora, Drax? I'll live. My epithelial layer is intact. Rocky, Groot, where are you? Fuck. Does anyone see a way out? I see a bright light. Well, don't go towards it. Guardians of the galaxy. How many times do I have to kill you? Stall her, Peter. The audacity that you thought you could rob me. For the record, we weren't all on board with the plan. Thanks, Quill. Why not sell the clothes right off my back? Do you know what I did to the last people who thought I was easy prey? You let them go? I got nothing. We're trapped. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Shield my wrath! 
I'm willing to negotiate! Screw <laughs> talking! Keep shooting! Now! Attack! It will not be so fearsome when it has no arms! Smoke the rocket! Green Team! Nail those tentacles when they're close! Let's give this squid everything we've got! Time to grow, Groot! Go! Get them! This lady's got anger issues! It seems that legend holds true! What is that spear? Well... Bombs away, Rocket! to fell this for one appendage at a time! Now, swing! Rush them! Destroy that guy! Ruth! Show him your roots! Now we know what kind of monster Hellbender likes! The kind that eats! What should it say?
commend your effort, Lady Hellbender! You're praising her! Heads up! Destroy that mind! Like we don't have enough problems already! Our problems are sufficiently engaging! How does it feel, Florbo? Now! Something, something! Photosynthesis? Groot <laughs> says thanks! And gobble from me! Put the lights out! Perish! To the bone! Come <laughs> on! Just give me a shot! You mean a cut! We've got to freeze it in its tracks! Much! Everybody grab a bike! 
try. This is no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? She will hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives a scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Money that you forced us into stealing. Yeah, well, what about that smash and grab on Satopia? I didn't hear you complaining then. Lady Hellbender is not a bank. Yeah, that's right. Because if she was, we'd have way more loot. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? I really want to know. There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went into the quarantine zone. I sunk aboard and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. God, I didn't know the Riker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I'm bring her back. I just have to... Confiscated everything. Clearly not. What about your tech, Rocket? Oh, the Gold Domes took that all right. But not the stupid llama! And now the flark in the race flark because of it! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys. We need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy I'm nowhere has got the parts we need. And he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else! Get out of my tail, Quill. I'm busy. Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to talk some more. Depends. What do you want to know?
How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of him, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard her die, Quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm... Um... Sorry, you had to go through all that rocket. For real. Hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got for my favorite super cool assassin. As a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. How'd you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died. What did cause you to betray Thanos? I mean, he adopted you when you were like... Five. He basically raised us, taught us everything we know. So what finally did it? What snapped you out of it? I... found the Resistance. What? Thanos was obsessed. He had me and Nebula combing the galaxy for their location for cycles. Each of us determined to be the first to find them and report back. 
So when I found them first, I was so excited to tell him. I got home, and I found him talking to an empty room, to someone called Lady Death. That's not ominous. I truly thought he loved us, in his own twisted way. But Thanos didn't want to restore balance to the galaxy. He was just in love with death, literally in love. And he would kill all of us, including me, including Nebula, to prove it. But you couldn't let him. No. So instead of telling him where to find the Resistance, I joined them. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay. The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then, Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband, her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Brel would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way. I refused, and we won the war without killing anyone else. And, for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. I, uh... kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. And now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously? Thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. You are right to be worried about the broken communications array, Rodent. A potential client might contact us and find our messaging system unavailable. Our inbox has been dry for cycles, Drax. Perhaps because some of us shirk our duty to distribute cards. Anyone in there? Rocket? What? Can't you see I'm busy? Is that my toothbrush? It fits in the uh, small cracks. Oh, Rocket, please! Hold it in for a tick. I'm almost done. Rodent, will you have time to repair the broken refrigerator door? What? Like now? In the near future. I got a whole comms array to fix. Ah, a fitting musical accompaniment for the situation. Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. It doesn't matter. The Halosope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So, why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. And yes, I value my life. Peter, I'm not gonna kill you for asking about my collection. 
That's good, because last time... So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of really scary-looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff, too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, no, no. Uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think. I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Time's ticking away, Peter. Weren't we gonna pay that fine? Oh, looks like someone changed their mind. We're paying that fine, Rocket, whether you like it or not. I'm good. Oh, nice! You made a cute little pen. Yeah, it better stay out of my fur. Nice. Is that one from Seknarf 9? I bet it loves water. I bet Corral would have found whatever we tried to hide anyways. Hey, Groot! Is the Chew Devil trying to chew on anything down there? I am Groot. Good. Keep it that way. Starting to think maybe it's just what it eats, you know? You didn't mean to chew up the comms, did you? <laughs> Looks sturdy enough. You sure it'll be okay in there? I'm good. What's up, Muscles? Pissed about the array, too? I am pondering our latest mission. Groot. Sorry, man. Guess I should be more respectful of your personal space, but... I am Groot. Well, I'll let you get back to... your plants and stuff. I am Groot. Alright guys, so this is where I am going to finish the video. Um, if you like the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and yeah. You can also turn on the notification bell. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.